What's up guys? So today we're doing a, a little unbagging. You can see there's Yabo or Yapo all over this. Stands for yet another package opening, which is a derivative of Yabo, yet another box opening, which is really just a different way of saying an unboxing. So the theme of today's video is how I can afford precious metals. Well, I can't. <laughs> More times than not, I'm not buying them. I'm trading for them. And this is a uh, little trade I did for some precious metals. So, you know, you guys know I get creative with stuff. Can't always afford to just go out and buy the new knife I want, new piece of gear. So what I do is I trade something I already own. It's a continuous theme that I've had for probably the last 15 or 20 years. Well, maybe even more because I've traded even back in grammar school. I did sell a lot of stuff in grammar school. I did a lot of flipping back in the day. Uh, from third grade selling candy and blow pops, uh, fourth grade... I want to say I was selling maybe, I don't know, pages out of a dirty magazine, uh, or maybe that was middle school, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I sold everything, including knives, in high school. Um, so I was always uh, kind of, you know, had a side hustle. And my side hustle really is my main hustle, which is trading. It's how I obtain new stuff. The only difference is that I don't trade out silver. So if someone wants silver or gold or whatever, you're not going to get it from me. I try to stack as much as possible, but it's little increments here and there, and eventually it grows into something. So anyway, today's uh, EDC is a Civivi Praxis. Definitely gonna see a video on this. And we're gonna zip right into this thing. All right, so. Let's slide this stuff out. Oh, a lot of bonus things as well. All right. This is safer camera. All right. Sorry for bad handwriting. Don't worry about it. Your handwriting is actually not bad at all. It's actually really nice. Hey, Jeff, thank you for another opportunity to trade. In this package are included the three one ounce rounds for trade, uh, two finds from this week's coin hunt, a 1971 40% silver dollar, and a 1906 Indian head cent. Uh, also, my old work knife, uh, which is a small OTF knife. Also another one gram silver Second Amendment round. Also some really cool pens. I know how much you uh, like the friction pens. Uh, so I found some other uh, erasable pens. Oh, very cool. Uh, the two white barrel pens are erasable. The black barrel pen is just a ballpoint pen in a really cool case. Hope you enjoy the gifts from Alan. Uh, and a, a weird Mario coin I found. All right, cool. Thank you so much, Alan. I've done a couple different trades with Alan before, and he knows what I like here. So first off, let's see. Oh, I like the little little OTF is uh, pretty cool. Definitely like that kind of Cryptek camo. Matches my uh, my Crocs. If you guys saw my Crocs dance <laughs> video on uh, Instagram. Yeah, super cool. I dig it. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Alan. And then we got a couple cool uh, pens in here. Half a, how was that, a micron, nicron? Ooh, I really like the case. So you just pop those out. Is that how it works? Yeah, it looks like it. Mm, is the top in there, or are they supposed to? Oh, I guess that's, maybe it's just how it works. All right, cool. Definitely dig these. I like stuff like this, and so does my wife. You know, she likes stationary, you know, different uh, office type stuff. So super cool, appreciate that. Wow, all right, so we got the Indian Head Scent, 1906. Let's get a little zoom on this stuff. Look at that. That's a beauty. Just got some copper rounds with the same uh, design. One cent. Very, very nice. Then we have a little silver gram. Put this upside down. It was upside down. One gram, 999, fine silver. And... Let me zoom in even further. Of course, we got a little glare from the plastic. All right, so there we go. Protect our Second Amendment. Very cool. We got a rifle cartridge in there. I could definitely dig that. All right, back it up. And we'll look at, actually, we'll look at this too. This is a 1971 Eisenhower dollar. Um, unfortunately, the uh, Eisenhower dollars are not silver. Um, they're still really cool, and I do collect them. The actual, uh, the ones that were silver were from the San Francisco Mint. If you look underneath Eisenhower's head there, we see a D for the Denver Mint. So this is not a silver one, but it's still cool. 
I love these. Just a very large coin. Very, uh, very fun to collect. Then we have the uh, Mario coin, Super Mario Brothers. That's actually pretty neat. I like that. Frankfurt Candy. CPL 210512. I'm not sure about this. I'll have to look it up. Oh, we got Wario. That's pretty neat. Um, I remember <laughs> way back in the day, I had a Virtual Boy. And the first game I had was Wario Land. Uh, and it was all red. And it was 3D. And it was super cool back then. And it, some people might even think it's cool today. But I no longer have that. All right, so those are really nice freebies. I really do appreciate it. This is what the uh, trade was for. We have a Chi Wu here. All right, Republic of Korea. This is one clay. Let's zoom in. Get another closer shot of this. I saw some uh, some newer Chi Wus. I thought it was pretty neat. You can also see the uh, little hologram. Not hologram, but it's kind of a security feature. So you see the 999, but only on certain angles. Super cool, though. This is a 2020. Very neat. Chi Wu, Chi and Wang. Very cool image on the back there as well, that warrior. Very neat. Then we have the uh, Aztec calendar, which is ever so popular. Super cool. I did a, uh, I showed from, I want to say originally, it might have been Atmex. I got a little, a um, uh, little, I want to say one gram piece. But I wanted a, a one ounce. People buying buying these things by the tubes. They're just a really cool design, um, extremely um, detailed, you know. And these are just pretty much considered generic rounds. They have a premium, a little bit of a premium, but it's not like some of the coins. So you can get these fairly uh, cheap, or I should say affordable. And then we have a cool skull pattern here. Flip that over. This one, one troy ounce, 999. This is from 2000, 2009. Pretty cool. I'm not sure who actually makes this round. Let me get a little closer here. Yeah. Pretty neat. Always dig a, a cool skull on something. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much, Alan. I appreciate it. Your side of the trade is going out. Um, maybe even today, uh, if not, well, tomorrow. But um, I already hit up the uh, the post office, but I do have some other errands that are somewhat in the area. Maybe I can swing by and get this stuff out today. But anyway, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for this uh, Civivi. I definitely have something really good to say about it. I don't know if you guys can, can guess, but there's something. You'll see. You'll see in the future. Uh, but yeah, this is just, it was super nice. I really, really appreciate the, uh, the freebies there. So thank you so much, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching, as I always do. Let me know how you guys stack silver and gold and, and platinum and palladium. First off, you can let me know if you actually collect platinum or palladium. I would love to eventually get into it, not full ounce. Well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe for platinum, not palladium. Uh, just a little too expensive for me. Even platinum is expensive. You know, an ounce of platinum is like 11, 1200 bucks right now. Um, but I'd love to get one of those like books that hold the little gram bars and maybe do a little palladium and platinum like that in the future. I don't really know. I like to have it just to have a variety. You know, I have silver, I have gold. I love to have the other, the big two. You know, there's other precious metals as well that are ridiculously expensive that no one really has in bullion form or coin form, but you know, it is what it is. So anyway, that's all. Just let me know what you guys are stacking out there and how you stack. But the point of this video is people ask me occasionally, in fact, I got a message today, it's why I wanted to show this on camera, uh, specifically is how can you afford to stack silver? I'd like to get into it, but I don't have a lot of extra money. Well, you don't have to spend a lot. You can get stuff like this. Now, there's gonna be a higher premium. You're gonna pay the most for silver by buying small increments like this, but you can still stack it. You don't have to have a thousand ounces overnight. It's something that progresses, you know? Uh, people stacks, it, it really is a reflection of their bank account for the most part. You could be rich and you could stack, you know, 5,000 ounces of silver overnight, whereas someone else has been stacking for 25 years and they have 200 ounces, you know? So I wouldn't focus so much on how much you have because people ask me too, like, how much is enough? How much silver is enough silver? How much gold should I have, you know? Whatever you can afford, as much as possible. For me, it's just a savings account. That's all it is. Only... Um, your interest rate is definitely going to be higher than any bank will ever give you ever and you won't lose a penny to inflation ever Now the prices do fluctuate. Uh, I'd say there's a little risk I guess in precious metals now I'm kind of giggling at that just because you know a precious metals are probably one of the safest You know investments and I, I use that quote there because it is an investment of sorts But if you're looking to 
use money to make money, there's lots of other things you could do that are gonna give you uh, bigger gains quicker. This is just stability, that's all it is. Like I said, it's a bank account that is inflation free um, and generally has a pretty good interest rate. You know, but that's always questionable. You never know how much interest is going to uh, accumulate. But if you're in it for the long run, if you're into uh, precious metals for you know a couple of years or or even decades, you're just fine. Uh, I'd be shocked, so shocked, and half the world would be shocked who is into this kind of stuff. Um, if uh, let's say gold or silver is cheaper in five years or ten years, I mean, pretty much everyone is um, suggesting it's going to just keep going up because that's what it's always done historically. It's gone up. So anyway, that's enough for the uh, the precious metals rant. You guys know I'm into it. Not everyone's into it. I get it. It's boring to some people or it's stupid to other people and to each their own. But I love the shiny stuff and I'm glad to have some more in the collection. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. All right, I'm back for a second. Uh, I just want to make a correction. <laughs> this is Waluigi. Uh, quick glance with that crooked mustache, I thought it was Wario, but Wario is the bad version of Mario, and this is the bad version of Luigi, being tall and skinny looking. Um, so yeah, this is Waluigi, and uh, I really don't remember this character at all. I remember Wario, because of Wario Land, and from some other things, but anyway, just want to correct that for the gaming people out there who are probably smacking their foreheads, going, Jeff, what is wrong with you, man? That is not Wario, so you're right, it's not. Anyway, that's all. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.